everyone, I'm Natasha, and today I am going to be reacting to the Outlander Season 2 trailer! Okay, I realized that was a little bit traumatic. So the Season 2 trailer just dropped, and I got requested to react to it. Dragonfly and Amber, it was a very emotionally scarring book for me. I cried a lot in it, like, a lot. So I don't know how I'm going to react to this trailer. I I've heard it's great from Sasha. Sasha was like, you need to watch it! Just be prepared, I might cry. Sing me a song of a laugh that is gone. Say, oh, here it is. I found the trailer. I'm going to watch it on my iPad so it's easier for me to look at you guys when things are happening. Okay, we're going to play it now. Freaking Charlie. Make sure you're safe. I know when the rising begins. Then you know how it ends, too. And it doesn't end well. No, unless we stop it from happening altogether. Change the future. Is such a thing even possible? Oh, those costumes are so amazing. You're not up for a challenge. April 9th? Oh my gosh! Why did they just spoil that? Oh, the last part of that trailer. Oh, this book was just so painful. Jeez Louise. Well, so the trailer didn't really go into much of what happens in the book, but you definitely get a huge spoiler there at the end. So if you guys don't want to be kind of like spoiled on the premise of season two and you just wanted to watch my reaction, which was kind of funny because it was just like, that was painful for me. Um, don't watch the rest of this video because I, um, I'm going to go into like what happens in Dragonfly and Amber. Um, I, I'm not going to be spoiling any plot details at all, but... I'm probably going to be sharing some of my concerns. I just kind of filmed this video on a whim, so I can't really, like, pick out, like, certain things that are happening in this trailer. But that last scene right there where you see Frank walking into a very modern hospital to find Claire, you kind of have to realize that Claire is going back to her original time, to the 1940s. The book, Dragonfly and Amber, starts off, <laughs> it starts off in the 1940s. Claire is 40 years old. I remember first reading Dragonfly and Amber and I was just traumatized by that fact because I was so immersed in Jamie and Claire's life that when you first open the book and you come to realize that they're not together and that she's back in her original time, you're heartbroken. It was so jarring to open a second book in the series when you're so involved in Jamie and Claire's married life. She's coming out of the first book pregnant and you're like, what happened? So Dragonfly Amber takes place right after Outlander, but you do get this flash forward of Claire in her 40s. I really want to know how they're going to portray season two. That scene with Frank is at the very end of the book, I think, if I, if I can remember correctly. Claire is actually telling the story of her and Jamie during the whole Jacobite Rebellion to Roger Wakefield. And Roger Wakefield 
is from the first book. He was a little boy in the first book. Claire's 40 years old and she decides to go back to Scotland. She has a daughter. They just finally casted Brianna. Finally. Brianna's supposed to be in the first part of the book. So I don't know if they have kept that casting a secret. Maybe the first part of the book isn't like the first couple episodes. Maybe they're leaving it all to the end. I went on to read Voyager after Dragonfly and Amber, which I really did enjoy, um, but I haven't actually reviewed that book. But I did review Dragonfly and Amber, so if you want to watch my thoughts and hear my thoughts about that book, you can go watch that review. I'll link it down below. Just for my reaction there, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this season. Wow. Wow. I love these characters so much and I love this series so much and I love the actors and it's just an incredible show and I just wish everyone would watch it because it's so good and you all should read the books first. You should read the books first, okay? And if you don't have time to read the books, then you should listen to them on audiobook because I did that for Voyager. I actually listened to Voyager on audiobook because it's like a 900 page book. I have an Audible affiliate link down below so you can get like a free 30 day trial and you can get Outlander on audiobook and you can listen to that. If you don't have time to read Outlander, then that's the way to go because the narrator's pretty great. She's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for season two, but like... <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I will see you all in the future. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye!